Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Game Movie, movie Show. My name is Deshaun. Today I'm going to give you my spoiler-free review of Iron Fist. Marvel's Iron Fist. Now, I'm going to start off with saying this. This movie, this show is getting destroyed. More like any other thing Marvel has ever made. Which is, at the same time, so heartening to me. Like, in the beginning, before I had seen it, I saw how, how destroyed it was getting. And I was just like... Oh, come on. Like, and it wasn't so much of a sadness about it maybe being bad. I wasn't even worried about that. Even if it was bad, it would have been one of those things to me personally where I was like, oh, oh, Marvel messed up one time out of the thousands of things they did. Like, they messed up like a few times. This is the only outright a bad, bad thing that they did. I'd be like, wow, sorry. Not everyone's perfect. Hell, Pixar has... Cars 2. So, I mean, Pixar has Cars 2. There are some, like, nothing's perfect. And, and so I went to the show with this, with lowered expectations, with the expectations that I, it's probably not going to be as bad as everyone says it is, but it's going to have its problems. And that's exactly what it meant to me. It had, it, it had a, it had a lot of problems. It reminded me of Age of Ultron in the sense that it had its problems, but, but, the, but a lot, but it wasn't as bad as people said it was. The action wasn't as bad, and the characterizations weren't at, wasn't nearly as bad. There was a lot of fun characters. There was a lot of fun scenes. It wasn't enough fun scenes because they spent a lot of time on one plot. But I'm not gonna get into that today because that's for the spoilers um review. Now I'm gonna start off with um off the top the negatives because I want to start because I kind of want to end it on a good note. The negatives are it is a slow burn for like the first eight episodes. It's a slow burn. It's a slow burn show with sprinkles of action, sprinkles of comic book stuff that 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 keep you into it. That like personally, I'm not talking about someone else who doesn't watch this stuff. That would keep you in, into it off of that alone. Because I already knew the story of Danny Rand and I already knew how it was gonna go down. And a lot of people compared it to Arrow and um Batman and um Batman Begins and um Tony Stark Iron Man. The difference between this is. For one, Danny, like, if you know the story of Iron Fist, then you know Danny Rand, he, um, <clears throat> him and his parents were going to visit the, into the Himalayas, but not, in the, in the comic book version, you know, his, you know, his, um, uncle, um, um, Meech, Harold Meacham killed his father and his mother, but in this version, he, he, in this version, um, you don't know if that's happened or not until until some until the few episodes near the end. But all you know is that the, a plane crashed and he was the only survivor. And monks found him, took him, trained him, and he's returning 15 years later because that's when the portal to Kunlun opens. He's returning 15 years later to New York City as the Iron Fist and as Danny Rand. And I like I think the difference between him returning and whatnot is one he was a child, so he grew up his entire life on a mystical fucking plane of existence. Well, that alone makes it completely different in my opinion. But on top of that, he has this more enthusiasm about him. He's not broody like he's not pretending to be a playboy like Oliver Tween. He's not he's not traumatized. He's not completely you know he's not completely like um fucked up like Tony was when he came back. No, Danny's like, Oh, I wanna come back, like I missed home, like and he's more peppy, he has this more enthusiastic approach to him, and I think the actor did a great a lot of people said the actor was bad and I didn't think he was bad at all. He could be better. He could do better. <clears throat> he kind of reminds me of um how people felt about Foggy, and and I actually enjoyed Foggy, but I was like he could be better, and Foggy was so much better in season two, and that's what I think this is gonna do. And it, ironically, like I will say this, I think this was, and I will say this, this is the least good, the um the least best out of all three of the Netflix shows. I gave Daredevil in season one and two a ten. I gave Jessica Jones a nine. I gave Luke Cage a nine two. I'd probably give this one an eight. A solid 8, maybe 7.5. 7.5, leaning a little towards the 7.5 range or the 8. It's a drop down. It's a drastic drop down, but it's not awful drop down. It has its moment. Episode 6 to me was a uh, standout because it had that martial arts feel to it, that like classical tournament martial arts feel to it. And and I liked the act, and I and I liked it. And you know something, and and like I love how they actually distinguished his fighting ability from a Daredevil's fighting ability because he actually uses styles and whatnot he's using kung fu styles and different positionings and you know different styles and whatnot and like you can tell because as daredevil he's just kind of flipping and throwing kicks and dodging and blocking it like he's doing like he's doing karate but it's like it's weird you know which is how daredevil is in the comics he doesn't really have a style per se he's just it's some shit it's kind of like spider-man 
Spider-Man and Daredevil are like in that sense that they don't have a style. It's just some shit that they put together all with their powers. So they came up with this. So that's cool. And uh, Claire Temple's back in this. She does a great job as always. But the standout of the sh- season, the standout of the show was Colleen Wing. I love Colleen. Colleen was badass. She was a she was awesome. She the actress did a great job for training this character who's you know who's just kind of out of it. She's like she she's just got this rage built up inside that she's just been pushing down for years to be in control all the time, but it's there. There's so many comic book references. There are so many nerdy comic book things and references that it made me as a Marvel fan jizz a little bit because I was like, oh my god, comic book references. I know that. I know that. Oh, there's a lot of them. Like, right off the bat, there's a lot of them. You never get to see the dragon, but you get to see the dragon's eyes. They do show the dragon's eyes, and you know the dragon was there. So, that's interesting. So, that, so that was kind of cool. And like I said, the, the bad bits is that it was a little slow. Bits of it were predictable. Bits of it were done poorly, and bits of it dragged on a, a, too, a little too much. But that, but a lot of these, a lot of these um flaws could be attributed to it being 13 episodes. A lot of people have been c- complaining about the 13 episodes. I would agree. They probably sh- do need to shorten it to like make it a little bit more condensed. Even though, even though like shows like Arrow and Flash and shit, they don't get any like I mean they're on TV and they have like 50 fucking episodes. They have like 28 freaking episodes a season. No one ever says anything about that. They all praise it, but that's a story for another day. This show particularly could have been done shorter. Should have been done shorter. And well, oh, somebody was here. And well, that's about my only complaints about that show. I a lot, I like the effect. I liked most of the characters. I thought Meacham was he. Once again, Meacham was out of all the villains. I thought he was the. He's somewhere right. I thought I put him right there with um, <clears throat> with Diamondback. Because I like Diamondback, actually. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, he's over the top. And I'm like, I kind of like the fact that he's over the top. Because it was so... Because it kind of brought a new flair to it. And Meacham was just a menacing guy. Like, like he just had this way about him. He had this look in his eyes. And every time he was on screen... Every single time he was on screen, I was like, whoa, what the fuck is he going to do next? Like, and, and that alone, and the fact that he came back from the dead... Again and again. And the fact that he came back from the dead, he, it's crazy, okay? Uh, you, you'll see. And that alone kind of made him an interesting villain to me, and the fact that, you know, Dan, and like he was the only Danny's only thing left, so, and uh, that's about all I got to say about this, show. I don't think it's as bad as people are saying it is, it, it, it's not, it's nowhere near, it's a 7.5 to me, maybe an 8, if I'm looking, maybe an 8, if I'm, if I'm being generous, I think it's an 8, it's the least, it, I will say it's the least, good, it, it, out of all the Netflix shows, it's definitely the worst, but I have seen worse shows. Look at a Gotham. Look at a few first few seasons of Agents of Shield. Look at a um um freaking Arrow season three. I, I I mean I can think of many other shows. I I, I mean I, I like this, but uh, like like look at a Legends of Tomorrow. Like that colluded piece of shit. Uh, look at a like, there's so many other shit. Like like even a, like I'm trying to think. I probably even like this a little like like I said Agents of Shield. Yeah. Um. Uh, there's some, like, like I said, there's a lot of other shows that are worse than this, so for it to get the rating it's getting, I can understand maybe getting a 70%. I think it's a 70% thing on Rotten Tomato, I think at least. I think at the very least it's like hanging on fresh because I don't think it's that bad. And um, I think it's like a little bit of pile-on effect that finally people, and that's the only problem I have with the show. It's not even the reception of the show that bugs me. It's the fact that I know people are going to pile on and be like, oh, Marvel, what are you doing? What's happening? I'm like, wait a fucking minute. DC made three shitty... Mo- well, granted, I guess the world collapsed on them. But I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait the fuck a minute. So you telling me Marvel made three 90-something percent Rotten Tomato score shows, one of which won a goddamn Peabody Award, the other of which was considered the, one of the best comic book thing, shows of all time, and the other of which is a cultural, impactful show. And they make one bad thing. One perceived bad, because I don't think it's bad. And the world's falling apart. And they're just taunting the bell for Marvel. Like, that's like, get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Ar- ironically, I think this is the least good show. I even like, I will say this, I even like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now better than I like this season. But, and I, get, I give Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. like this season, I give this season like a 9. But I haven't reviewed that yet because season's not over. 
But currently, I'd give it like a nine. But, however, this show has the most room to make a good season two. Because I think Daredevil's kind of in a box where you kind of know what Kingpin and you get the comparison to introduce Bullseye. I don't know what they're going to do with Luke Cage. I don't know what they can do with Jessica Jones. But this, I know what they could do for a season two. They can ratchet up the action. They can ratchet up the Kunlun stuff. They can do the, you know, they can ratchet up. They can hit more of the seven. You know, they could do so much more with a season two of this than they could with any other show outside of Daredevil, in my opinion. So this show, actually, in actuality, is the show that is primed and ready to have a better season two than any other show on um, the Netflix channels right now, in my opinion. And which is ironic, because it had the roughest start of any of them, but I think it's going to have the best season two, which is going to get a season two, because yeah, one, one, even if it was bad, 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 um, Ab Sandler keeps getting freaking shows put up there, so... And they're contractually obligated to do it, so... And, like I said, it's going to get a season two. And when it gets a season two, I guarantee you it's going to make up for all that lost ground. Because I feel like this season one was just laying the groundwork for them to just get the ground running in season two. Plus, they... Plus, I, I, I looked at some other things, and they and, and I could tell that they were speed-tracking this. Because they were like, we got to get to this Defender stuff, and we got to get this shit out of the way. So that we got to get your origin and all this crap out of the way so that we can get right head first into Defenders. Because this is what we're contractually obligated to do. This is what time we have to do it, and this is when we're going to have to do it. So... Let's get this done, and then head track right into it. Because if you recall, you know what happened, though? You know, I, I, I got it. I know why they didn't take their time to do this. Because I think they could have did a better job. They could have did a better job. They could have made it better. They could have hit more things more harder. Problem is, they did Daredevil Season 2. Daredevil Season 2 was not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be Daredevil, um, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, then Iron Fist. Like, Iron Fist was supposed to be coming out. When Luke Cage came out. That's when Iron Fist is supposed to be coming out. And right now, this is when the Fenders are supposed to be coming out. But since they decided to make Daredevil, because since Daredevil was just such a popular thing, and it was just boom, they were like, we need to make Daredevil, Daredevil Season 2, Daredevil Season 2. And they just high-speeded it right in there, which was a mistake. I love Daredevil Season 2. It was awesome. But now that I think about it, it probably hindered this. Because this was the back end show, and they had to speed it up, and they're making a Punisher series too, so they had to speed that up too. So it is one of those things where Devil Season Two actually hurt Iron Fist, in my opinion. But like I said, that like I said, this is all they're contractually obligated to do. So uh, Season Two is gonna probably be much better because they're gonna probably shorten the episodes, they're gonna renegotiate everything, they're gonna shorten episodes. And they're going to actually put more spacing between it. They're going to actually plan out a little bit. Because Marvel, it's weird enough. The Because it's weird enough. Marvel does not run. Um, Kevin Feige does not run Marvel Television. So, go figure. He doesn't run Marvel Television. And Marvel Television is a little disarrayed. So, somebody needs to get down on, like, I, I don't know. Maybe I should let him run Marvel Television, too. Because, I don't know. Because shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. But, like I said, I give the show a, I give the show, you know what, I'm going to go with an A, I'm going to keep my 8, I'm going to go with an 8, I give the show an 8, a solid 8, a solid 7.5 if you really want to be technical, but I give it an 8, out of generosity, I give it an 8, it's not the best show, I can name 5 of them, it wouldn't make my top 5, it wouldn't make my top 6, it would. It may not even make my, it wouldn't make my top 5, <clears throat> it would make my top 10, but it would just, it'd be somewhere in the back row, but... It's not that bad. Some of the action is great. Some of the action is so-so. Like, the first action scene I thought was so-so, but then the next action scenes after that were pretty cool. Especially episode six had some great action. And some episodes after that have some great action, too. Drunken fight. Um, when, he, when he fought the drunken fighting master, that was pretty cool. So, there are some there are, it, it, there are some ups, there's some downs, there's some peaks, there's some lows. But overall, I enjoyed myself. Well, I enjoyed myself. And um, go watch it. Make up your own mind about it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do... Then comment below, let me know, and I will see you in the next one.